Welcome. In this video, we'll learn how to implement quantum circuit that evaluates the OR function. OR of two bits is a function that is zero only when both the bits are zero, otherwise OR is one. Evaluating OR is straightforward on a classical computer as there is a classical gate that evaluates OR of two bits, but an analogous quantum OR gate does not exist. The reason is that our function is not invertible. So we cannot take two qubits A, B and get the following output. There is loss of information. When A equals 1 and A or B equals 1, then B can either be 0 or 1. That is, value of B is not uniquely determined. But there is a workaround. We can use an additional qubit to store the output and keep the input intact. We can write our function as follows where O plus is addition mod 2. CC not gate can be used to get multiplication term and C not gates can be used to get the addition terms. We first apply CC not gate on the target bit with input bits A, B as controls. Then we successively apply C not gates on it using first A as control and then B as control. It is possible to obtain this output using 5 not gates and 1 CC not gate. I leave that as something for you to figure out. Is it possible to obtain quantum OR using fewer than 3 gates as I have obtained? Now that we know to get OR of 2 qubits, it can easily be generalized to any number of bits. The following circuit builds on, by recursively applying the 2 qubit idea. Treat the output of OR, of 2 qubits A and B as an input along with new qubit C. Use another qubit to store the final output. This circuit uses N-1 additional qubits to store intermediate values. Is it possible to use fewer qubits? If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.